Let's talk about Drake. So he posted a picture. He's in the studio with 40. We're going to assume he's making more music, but on More Life, he did tell us he was going to take at least a year off. Do we want more music from him right now, or should he disappear for a minute and just let things cook? Hey, uh, I'll take this first. This is where everyone's going to say I'm a Drake stand, but I just want to be objective. Everyone already says you're a Drake stand. <laughs> no, I'm objective because I criticize him a lot, too. Um, my whole thing, and maybe you could chime in here, I'm comparing Drake to people of maybe another generation, but let's compare Drake to Jay-Z. I believe Drake is a victim of his own success. If you look at the amount of music he's put out since he came out, right, he's put out about seven, eight projects in about, it's been, he came out 2009 with So Far Gone, probably about eight years. So uh, probably a project a year. So Whether Far it, Gone did not come out in 2009. It did? I feel like it did. Yeah, I think it did. Take but, Care came out in 2011. Thank You Later, 2010. So far, Gone didn't come out in 2000. Okay, I might be no, tripping. We can fact check. Chop said yeah, too, and I, I'm okay, disagreeing. I might be <laughs> he's an OVO OVO fan. Said it I'm still too. disagreeing with Chops and you. I'm open to being wrong. Uh, Go ahead. However, what I'm saying is that if we look, he gives us about a project a year, and that's including group albums, these uh, mixtapes and playlists. He's giving us about a project a year, right? People feel like he's like flooding the market. I mean, Jay, for his first eight years, gave us an album every year, along with a bunch of other guest appearances on other people's songs. Did people, and that's what I'm asking you, because you would know in that time, did people feel like Jay was just fucking flooding the market? I think Drake is a victim of his own success because his songs live longer than anyone else's songs. And because he'll put out an album, get two singles in, and people still see like with the potential for one or two more singles to come out, then he drops another project. With views, I thought he was going to put out hype. Uh, There's another song I really liked on it. I expected those to be singles. He dropped more life. And because of that, people are saying this is too much. But it's not because he's putting out more music than everyone else. It's because his music is living longer and they're pop. So they're huge and they last longer. So hmm. that's the reason why we're saying he should fall back. I'm okay. not going to say that Drake's music lasts so much longer than some other acts in recent times. Recent times. I'm not talking about old Drake. Okay. I'm talking about new Drake. And I also think that Drake is in a place now musically where the same way we have old Wayne, new Wayne, old... I think this is new Drake. <laughs> I think there's a new Drake. I think, I think we can say that. Uh, I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Do you think he's when putting Jay, out too much when music? When Jay was putting out an album every year, uh, different times, different times, like you said, back then we expected an album every year from the artists that we listened to. Jay was just such a big act that it was unheard of for the biggest act in music to release so consistently. Different times now, you put out an album a year now and you losing fans. <laughs> you, yeah. But yeah, also, you. let's talk about now. So that's in the past. But uh, I personally feel like when an artist is flooding the market and the music is not good, that's when it's problematic. But when you're a Drake, personally, I didn't like Views as an entire project. Obviously, he had like hits on there. Does it matter if you're putting out an album a year if people are very receptive to it? Well, truth be told, I believe Drake's dropping a lot of music very quickly just because he knows he has the wave and he is scared to lose it. And, and, and I'd be in the same position, I would do the same thing, right? Like, if I'm in the same position, yo, I'm the hottest thing. I don't want to take two years off. If we go by Jay-Z, and I know we're going back, Jay-Z's trajectory, like, when he was at eight albums in eight years, he retired. He said, oh, this is my last or whatever, or the next album he said was going to be his last. Drake is at the point where, does he fall back a little bit? Because if you look at his contemporaries, we have Cole, we have Kendrick. They put out an album every about two years, mm -hmm. right? He's the only one continuing the yearly thing but i would also submit to say that yeah he put out view like a lot of people don't realize views is like a year and some change old like views is old right Views is trash i like views but you fuck. trash <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> you're the oh, laughing a little bit too hard <laughs> I really did like enjoy views? coming off nothing was the same like views yes. to me was Keep extremely the close. extremely disappointing. That was the closest project for me in terms of like him relating back to like take care, which is his classic. Huh? We're gonna get we're gonna get to that topic later. My thing is there's no news here. Like it's Drake. Like I don't know why we have to he, I get he's the biggest artist in the world. I get he's the most impactful. But there's no news. It's Drake taking a picture under some Casios with a satchel. 
With the satchel. Oh, I didn't peep the satchel. Yeah, actually. it's a fucking satchel. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to talk about anybody wearing a satchel. Not right now. When it, when we're closer to music being released. Then the satchel is I cool. feel the same way about this picture and this announcement. I'm tired of announcements about announcements. The same way I felt about Kanye telling us he was going to a mountaintop somewhere. Hey, man, before. you're going to have to get care. used to it. That's no, the fuck I don't have to get used to it. I can ignore this. Well, I can't when I work here. We have to say, talk about it. All right, wait, wait, wait. So if Drake, which we know he got songs with Khaled. We know he got a bunch of other guest features that haven't been announced. I mean, do we want more? Like, are those like flooding the market? Like, well, what exactly? Do I don't Drake think is Drake is flooding the market. If, okay. that's, if that's the question, yeah, let me that's answer. The I do not think that Drake is flooding the market at all. He probably okay. should do more flooding the market. Okay. He should do more. Give us seven a.m. in Kansas. Give however, us, however, give us the the the, the, the random the random freestyles where you would just tear something up real quick. Mm -hmm. Give us the random hop on an R and B record, hop on like we you he used to flood the market. I believe he feels he feels that because that's the reason why when he's ending the playlist called More Life and he says on Do Not Disturb, he says, I'll be back twenty eighteen to give you a recap. If he never he, said that, I could have told you Drake will be back in twenty eighteen to give us a recap. <laughs> no, 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 but but you could tell he has a sense and a lot of people have said Yo, there's too much Drake, but I don't think if we look at when the music came out, it's not too much Drake. It's just too. It's lasting too long. What if he took off till 2019? Well, the rap. Do you think he would even lose momentum? He's Drake. Hey, he ain't taking off till 2019 because Chance the Rapper is on his ass. He ain't taking off till 2019. You know what's funny about this this guy? What is so funny? How am I funny? I said that in our first week of doing this show, and he laughed me off the set. You done? You said it on air. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. It's documented. It's documented.